Hi everyone, today I am here to talk about The Grace Keepers by Kirsty Logan. I was really interested in reading this book because this is one of the most hyped books, at least in my corner of booktube, that I've heard of in a very long while, and I wanted to see for myself how I felt about it. This story takes place in the future after Earth has been flooded. Because of this, there is not much land available, meaning it has been highly commodified, and only a certain class of people are allowed to live on land. They are known as the landlockers. Then there's everybody else, who is forced to live at sea on boats and make their living usually through travel, and these people are known as the Damplings, and there is a lot of tension between the Landlockers and the Damplings because they have very differing opinions on where is the best place to live and, and why they like where they live. A lot of the Damplings really enjoy living at sea, and a lot of the Landlockers, of course, really like living on land, and there's a lot of tension in the world building between the land and the sea. We focus on a young woman named North who lives in a traveling circus. She is a dampling and she performs with her bear in this circus. She has been raised in the circus so not only is the sea all she really knows, the circus is all that she really knows about the world and what she has observed from being in the circus. So we follow mainly her but also some other characters inside of the circus and then we also follow, on a totally different part of the world, a landlocker named Kellanish. She is a very unique landlocker, though, because she has been exiled to her own private island in which she performs burial rites for people who have died at sea. It's a very isolated life, and you don't really know why she has to live by herself, but it is alluded to that it is some sort of exile, and this is where she is supposed to be because of something that happened. The stories alternate back and forth from the circus to this island, and from these two perspectives you kind of understand how the world works. Seeing as one of the characters is a dampling and one is a landlocker, you get a lot of different impressions about the world and what is right and what is wrong, and I thought that, that was a really interesting way of framing the story. In terms of my actual thoughts about this book, they are not the most positive, unfortunately. I really wanted to like this book. It had a lot of elements that I was really excited about. I mean, it is a semi-dystopian world. The protagonists are both women. It has elements of magical realism. It just sounded like something that I would really enjoy, and a lot of people that I like and respect here on booktube also really enjoyed this. So I had anticipated having the same impression. I did not, but that's that's okay. It's not that I dislike this book. I think there are a lot of really good things going for it. For instance, the prose is absolutely gorgeous. It is very delicately written. There's something very fragile and very simplistic about the text, but that's to the benefit of the narrative as opposed to a detriment. It really helps to establish the world and the tension between the worlds and just how things work and also the beauty that can be found in this world that seems very apocalyptic. And I absolutely love the prose. There were descriptions that were absolutely gorgeous, but my problems with this novel seem to stem much more from the themes and thematically what this book is trying to accomplish. And it's not that it does anything wrong, I just think it's doing too much. For instance, one of the biggest things going on in this book is the criticism of religion. I have worry that I am treading in potentially spoilery territory, but I'm going to speak in as vague terms as possible and just say that one of the characters in this book is very critical of religion and religious practice, particularly how a particular group practices religion. And it comes across as being very evangelical and very manipulative and very much like a performance. There's a lot of a lot of comparisons made between the circus in which North lives and these traveling evangelists. It was so it was hinting at a really interesting criticism of religion and religious practice, but I don't think it went far enough. The, the implications of the world and the fact that it is a flooded earth and the way that culture has changed and religions have changed and the way that people relate has changed and with class and, and just the way that the world is structured after the, the rising of the seas, I find so fascinating. I just think that there needed to be more of it and I wish that I knew more about how the world got to be this way because, I mean, the threat of rising oceans and global warming is not an unrealistic one. It could have done more with that 
and I think that the setting was a good place to start, but I wish that it had gone further. And then there's also a really interesting dynamic going on with female agency, particularly in terms of body autonomy, and it could have gone a lot deeper with that as well. Don't want to go into too much, but I don't think that it went far enough. So it started all of these really interesting conversations, but they seemed so shallow and underdeveloped to me that I really wanted more, and I don't think that it would be, would have been impossible to get more out of this book. This book is barely over 300 pages long, and just a little expansion to some of these really fascinating ideas, criticisms about our world and, and how they impact the world inside of the Grace Keepers, could be so fascinating, uh, and I just, I wanted, I wanted more. I wish that I had both cut out some ideas and expanded upon others so it could really feel like it was saying something. It's a book that uh, my, my analytical brain just was begging to unravel, and uh, I did find some interesting nuanced ideas in this novel. It just could have been so much more than it was, and it ended up being a little bit disappointing. That, that being said, it is, is a lot of my fault, the fact that I didn't like this book, because there's just something in me that can't be uncritical and that can't turn off my analytical brain. It's how I learned to examine things, particularly literature, as an English student in high school and in college, and so now it's just the way that I observe things, and it does probably more often than not contribute to my dissatisfaction with books, and it does inhibit the way that I can enjoy things, but at the same time, when books have those meanings, they make them all the more meaningful. So there's so much going for The Grace Keepers that if anything that I said sounds appealing to you, I would definitely encourage you to read it, and I would be very interested to read more of Kirsty Logan's work because this was her debut novel. I think that perhaps in time she will write more and and learn how to better enhance these really fascinating social criticisms that are here and very clearly here. And I think that they have a lot of meaning within them, but they need to be expanded more. And hopefully her future works will be all the better. I, a lot of what I said is very critical, but I still enjoyed this book. I gave it a 3 out of 5, which for me means I, I liked it. I didn't adore it, and there were some definite flaws I found in it that inhibited my enjoyment of the book, but at the same time I know some people here on booktube who've absolutely adored this book, given it 5 stars, and found it very powerful. So perhaps there is just something there that I'm not getting or just didn't really ring as true to me because I was so distracted by all of the ideas that were circling around. So I would still encourage people to read this book, and I would love to establish a dialogue in the discussion below about perhaps why you loved this book so much, because I heard a lot of people talk about this book. I don't think I've, I've seen any really in-depth reviews, so I'd be interested to see other perspectives about this book, particularly if you were one who adored it and, and gave it four or five stars. I would really like to hear why that is, or it, perhaps if this work, book did not work for you, I would also really enjoy hearing that too. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!